welcome, welcome, welcome. As you're joining, make sure that you have a nice, comfortable, seated, easy position on your mat or on a chair, depending on your capacity to do these postures and these practices. Listen to your body's wisdom. Sit in just long, deep breathing here. You can place your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart, expanding out through the belly, down in the pelvic floor, up through the chest, chest lifts, and on the exhale, the chest lowers, and the belly goes in, pulling in at the navel center to release any leftover stagnation that may be remaining. And just focus on the flow of your breath. Listen to the sound of your breath. Feel the sensations in your body. Notice if there's any tension, any tightness, or you may be holding on to something that needs releasing. And allow that breath with your mind's eye focus, eyes closed down, to move into those areas and those spaces. And just remind your body, it's okay, you can relax here now. Coming into the mindfulness, the awareness of the body through simple, long, deep breathing. One of the easiest things that our body does for us, we don't even have to think about. But ask yourself, do you breathe long and deep normally? Or do you catch yourself holding your breath? The key to mastering the breath is to be present in the moment and recognizing, am I fully present? Am I breathing long and deep? Notice the quality of your thoughts. Allow any thoughts that come in to just move through like clouds. Allow them to go, not attaching to them, but releasing and being aware. As you're breathing long and deep, create an intention if you so desire. Whatever it is dedicated for this practice, what it is you desire to manifest, feel, be, let it flow throughout your entire being in every cell of your body. Just come into that calm, peaceful state. Reminding yourself that this is your practice, that you've devoted and dedicated this time for you. Thank yourself. Thank yourself for showing up. Give yourself that credit, that pat on the back. This is the first step to devotion of self-love and cultivating and harvesting. That which we all desire, we all need, and all deserve. It is your birthright. Not to just be loved, but to be love and to embrace and give it and receive it. Energy needs to stay in motion. It needs to move. Since the only way we can flow is to be in tune with our breath, our mind, our body, our soul. And so, 
slowly opening your eyes. Welcome. Thank you for showing up. As you're joining, while you have this moment, spread some love on the share button. Spread that love. And make sure you have your notifications set so that in the future you don't miss a beat. You're not going to miss any of these live videos. So make sure you go to the page and set your notifications to see live videos and see first, okay? Stay tuned, and today we're going to work on awakening your 10 bodies. But before we begin, we're gonna rub our hands together. You're gonna make sure that you're sitting nice and comfortably. You have a bolster, something to align your spine and keep your legs flat and support it on the ground. You may need to sit in a chair, it's okay. You may need more pillows under your butt. It's all perfect. Stacking each vertebrae one over the other, reaching up through the crown of the head. The head is level with the floor, the ears are over the shoulders, the shoulders are over the hips. Roll the shoulders up and back several times. Recognize that your shoulder blades are your angel wings and that when you roll your shoulders just back and down, let them glide, but let them come together and open that heart space. This is where we give and receive from this space here. And you can tell through body language when we're a little closed down and protective of that. And so, again, bring the hands to heart center, shoulders roll back, thumbs in and up at the sternum, that little notch between the breastbone. We're gonna chant that Adi Mantra like we did yesterday. Inhale, exhale on one breath. Inhale to synchronize. Exhale, release. And now on this inhale, we're gonna chant the Adi Mantra three to five times. Inhale to begin. Om. Suspend the breath. Exhale, release the hands down. Go within and feel the Adi Mantra moving throughout the body. Noticing the quality of your breath and any thoughts that may be arising or any sensations within your body. Hmm. This particular career that we're going to do will awaken you to your ten bodies. And so the ten bodies are the soul body. And again, many people may not even be familiar with chakras, but the Ten bodies are another layer on top of that. So the chakras are all of these wheel centers, energy centers that go throughout the body and align us, right? But not everybody's familiar with those, and this is completely different. So the ten bodies are, they each have a gift, and you can strengthen each one of those to work on and bring into your life. And when one is out of alignment, that can cause a lot of disease because it all starts in one of those 10 bodies first. 
before you see it physically manifested or you experience it in what we call this real world. And so it's, it's important to be aware, of course, right? Being present in the moment. So we have the soul body, we have the negative mind, the neutral mind, the positive mind. We have the pranic body, which is the breath, the life force, the maintainer, the sustainer. And that pranic body, it's been said in many texts that we're given only so many breaths to live in this life. And once you've used those up, you're expired, right? That's an interesting thing because nobody really considers, oh, maybe I'm using up all my life force, my prana. So the pranic body is fascinating in that, but that's the one thing we need the most to even be physically in this body. Then we have the arc line, which goes from earlobe to earlobe like a halo. You see it in many of the texts and the teachings and the pictures depicted as a halo. And as women, we have another arc line from nipple to nipple. And this is actually how we project one of the other bodies, the radiant body. It expands us. So when your radiant body is strong, when your arc line is strong, that magnetic field, your auric body is all strong, you project your radiance, which is your regalness, which is your caliber, your strength, right? So you walk into a room and somebody can pick up your energy. Of course, the physical body, we all know about the physical body and the subtle body. The subtle body is what carries our soul to that next transition. So it's, it's 10 bodies that many of you may be unfamiliar with, but they're all key and need to be in balance for you to be in your strength, to be in your full capacity in alignment with your purpose, reason for being here. I've designed each of these videos specifically, each of these practices that you're going to receive through these live videos, specifically to regain, to guide you in regaining your intimacy, your personal intimacy, into me I see, so that you can also harvest and cultivate your self-awareness and work on that self-love, which is the gift of all, right? So, a Kriya is an action that leads to complete manifestation. So as I said before, setting an intention, having your journal handy, making sure you've got water to drink. Hydration is key. You have to keep it in balance for 70% water. We did Breath of Fire the other day. We're going to do Breath of Fire several times throughout this Kriya. Listen to your body. Again, I don't have to tell you this. This is your practice. It's going to be your personal experience, and only you know your limitations. But learn to discern the mind from the body, because the body is more capable of what the mind claims and limits its own belief system upon the body. We're also going to apply Mula Band, which is also known as Root Lock, in some of these Kriyas at the tail end of certain postures. So Mula Band is where you contract the anus, sphincter, the perineum basically, in that area, and you're pulling up. You're creating this lock from the lower area of your, your pelvic floor, also your sex organs, and at the navel point, so you're engaging all of this. The key to mastering this root lock is to relax the rest of your body around it. So this may take some practice, and you can do this on your own at another time. But just try it, see how it feels while we're speaking, while you're listening. And we will utilize it throughout the practice. And again, the beauty is you get to watch this as many times as you like. So we have first posture, we're just gonna sink on in, we're gonna dive on in, it's called stretch pose. You're gonna lay down on your, your floor or your mat or wherever you are, you can do this in a bed. It's even key if you can do it first thing in the morning. You're gonna come laying on your back and you're going to raise your toes pointed together, feet ideally are together. You're gonna to have your, your back on the floor. Hopefully you can see me clearly. I know if you're thinking the candles are gonna burn me, we're good. You're gonna raise the feet six inches off the floor, hands are 
palms facing the thighs, over the thighs, okay? The head is going to be lifted and focused. Eye gaze is at the toes. This is called stretch pose to engage the navel point. When you're doing this breath of fire, you want to make sure that navel point is coming down to the floor. That is the ideal. Now, <coughs> the real for you may be, you have to raise one foot, lower one foot. Maybe your feet are down. Maybe you have to lower your neck. If you have cervical spine issues, listen to your body. But listen to your body acu acutely because this is your practice. And so adjust as you need to. And we're going to begin. Inhale, exhale, equal and sat nam. Way there. Inhale, suspend the breath. Hold the posture, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release, relax for just a moment. Windshield wiper the legs, regain your breath. Windshield wiper the legs, feet in and out, opens up the hips. Feel the sensations in your body as the breath moves around and circulates. Now bring the knees into the chest as you're ready. You can rock side to side to rela release the lower back and then massage the lower back and the organs. And then you're just going to roll on up or push yourself up from the side as you need. <coughs> and you're going to come back into easy seated position. And we're going to do breath of fire again. Oh, I'm sorry. Go back down. I forgot about this posture. This happens sometimes. The, the next posture is actually nose to knees. So, you're, so the ideal is to bring your nose into your knees. Again, you may have to lower your head. So, and begin. Inhale, suspend the breath. Exhale, release the feet to the floor. Just sit here for a moment and just feel the energy moving throughout your body. Breathing long and deep. Just a hint for those of you who are new to kundalini yoga or any practice of exercise, always do this on an empty stomach. If breath of fire brings up any, any emotions, just sit with them and allow them to come in. If you feel lightheaded or dizzy, breathe long and deep. You can, you can exchange the deep, you can give yourself the permission 
instead of doing breath of fire to do long deep breathing at any time, especially if you're on your menstrual cycle, your heavy days, pregnant, glaucoma, you listen to what your body knows. And no, notice if it's the mind trying to trick you out of doing it. So again, bring the knees into the chest and rock on up. Or come over to your side and press yourself up. And then come right back. Whew. Getting a little sweat on. This is perfect because you should sweat at least 10 minutes a day. Moving and releasing toxins, stimulating lymphatic. All of this that we do in Kundalini Yoga applies. And it's, again, strengthening this, this 10 bodies also strengthens all of the systems of the body, all the organs. And so the next one is ego eradicated. You're going to take your fingers and fold them in at the, the pad piece right at the base of the palm. It's not a fist. It's just folded in at the base of the palm. Thumbs are going to be like you're plugging on up to the big light socket in the sky. 60 degrees and breath of fire. Begin. Eyes are closed. Third eye point. Bij mantra. Sat nam, sat nam. Inhale, suspend the breath, bring, bring the thumbs touching at the overhead, fingers extending up, reach, 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 inhaling here. Exhale, pull the mula band up through the anus sphincter, the sex organs, and the navel point on the exhale, holding it with the exhale. Just hold it and relax the body around it, just stretching and holding that mula band. Inhale, exhale, release, arms come down, ah, sweeping down and expanding that electromagnetic field, that aura, that radiance. And so just sitting here for a moment, relaxed into this, feeling the energy shift, moving throughout the body. The next exercise is life nerve stretch, wide leg. There's various variations of life nerve stretch. And on this particular one, I, I can spread my legs out wide. Not everybody can. So you have to listen to your body again. So the ideal is you're going to reach over and press the big thumbs on the big toenails. This stimulates the pituitary and the thymus. Um, you're going to inhale up to center. Actually, no, this is, we're going to inhale the arms up overhead and then we're going to exhale and stretch down, grabbing the toes on the left foot, come straight back up, inhaling and exhale, stretching over the, the right leg. So it's alternating inhale up, exhale down and begin. Inhale, exhale, inhale, set. Exhale, nam. Feet are flexed. Press on the big toe mound of each foot as you come down. Inhale, set. Exhale, nam. Eyes are closed down. Focus at the third eye point. Really allow your body to feel this, breathing into any tightness and stiffness. Powerful breathing. You're more than halfway there.
as fast or slow as you deem necessary. You can go slow or fast. Inhale up to center. Both arms stretching up. Allow the arms to come down. <coughs> Again, this is another variation of life nerve stretch. The ideal is grabbing the toes and you're gonna inhale up and exhale touching the, the forehead down to the floor. Touching the third eye down to the floor. That's the ideal. Now your reel may not be that for you, okay? So grabbing the toes, and in this case for myself, I have to put my feet forward to even reach my toes. And I, it's inhale up, touch your forehead to the floor. Inhale up and begin. Inhale set, eyes are closed. Ideally, your chest is coming down to the floor straight back. Reaching up through the crown of the head. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale and come back up to sitting. Just sit here for a moment. Feel the energy moving throughout the body. Notice any differences, any shifts, any changes within your physiology, any energy you can feel. Bring your awareness and your breath to it. Come sitting on your heels for camel ride. This is rock pose. Rock pose, supposedly, Yogi Bhajan says, if we do rock pose, you can digest rocks. So the inhale comes forward. The exhale, oops, hold on one sec. So it's inhale forward, pulling, and you're curving the back. And then exhale, rounding the back. And begin, inhale, sat, exhale, nam. The majority of these postures, all of your eyes are closed. Focus at the third eye point. Inhale, set. Exhale, nam. Keep the head level with the floor. Deep. Inhale, and audible. Listen to the sound of your own breath. Inhale to center. Exhale, release. You're going to come sitting in easy seated position. We're going to inhale forward. Exhale back and begin.
Inhale to center. Exhale, release. Come back to sitting on your heels in rock pose. And we're going to do what's called a spinal twist. You're going to grasp the shoulders, thumbs are behind, and the fingers are forward. You're going to inhale left, exhale right, eyes are closed again, keeping the head aligned. And begin. Inhale to center. Exhale, release. Now you're going to bring the hands up. You're going to touch the wrist behind the head, elbows up to the sky, and exhale. Sit and begin. Inhale up, exhale down, parallel to the floor. Inhale up, hold the posture, pull on the mula band, the root lock, anus, sex organs, navel point. Exhale, release. <coughs> Arm pumps. You're going to interlace the fingers in venous lock. That's left thumb over the right for women identified, female identified, and right over the left for male identified. So we're going to have our hands down. We're going to inhale the hands pumping up their arm pumps. And you want to do this fast, almost like breath of fire, but not quite. You're, you'll get this down. It's inhale up. So straight up and then down to your lap and begin. Inhale up. Exhale the arms down at your sides. Come back to easy seated position. Sitting on your mat. And we've got shoulder shrugs. So you're going to inhale up the left, exhale the right, and begin. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Inhale, the right up and the left down. So it's...
Inhale to center. Exhale, release. And now both shoulders up. Up, down, exhale. Inhale, the shoulders up. Apply the root lock. Exhale, release. And now, just like you're shaking your head no, inhale your head left. Exhale your head right. Eyes are closed. Fast or slow, listen to your body. And now reverse, right inhale, exhale left. Inhale to center. Concentrate deeply at the third eye. Holding that breath. Exhale, release. Come to standing. We're going to do frog pose. So your heels are going to be touching. You're going to come up on your tippy toes. You're going to touch your fingertips. This is the exhale position, the inhale, keeping the heels raised. We're going to just do 10. So inhale up, exhale down. So one, four, five, six, eight. And inhale up, suspend the breath. Exhale, release. Just let your body hang. And come back to easy seated position for just a quick Laya Yoga. It's Ekumkara Satanama Siriwa Hey Guru. You're going to have your fingers in Gyan Mudra. Your eyes are focused at your third eye point. And on each Ekongara, you pull in and up on the diaphragm firmly. And the A, uh, Ekongara, it's, so it's pronounced. And it's three, spiral, three and a half spirals up. So you can almost visualize as it moves up the spine. <coughs> You're going to use that breath to visualize the sound spiraling up from the base of the spine in three and a half rotations up through the crown of the head, okay? So, we're just gonna do a couple minutes of this and you can just follow along with me. Ekongara Satanama Siriwa Hey Guru Ekongara Satanama Siriwa Hey Guru Ekongara Satanama Siri wa he 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 guru ekongara satanama siri wa Hey Guru, Ekongara, Satanama, 
city wa heguru akongara satanama 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 city wa Heguru Akungara 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 Satanama City Wa Heguru Inhale, suspend the breath. Pull the Mulaban. Exhale, release. Feel the energy, the vibration moving throughout your body. Feeling all of the sensations. This particular Kriya, when we finish here shortly, recommends that you take at least an hour to rest on your back in a deep relaxation. Some have heard it called Shavasana, so that you can integrate all of the energy in your physical body and align all of these 10 bodies throughout your cells, throughout your organs, your circulatory system, your blood. So give yourself that time after we close to do this on your own. Bring your hands to heart center, thumbs in and up at the, navel, the, the sternum. Focus through the third eye. It's going to be a quick, long time sunshine. Inhale to begin. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. Inhale for one long sun. Sun. from the Yogi Bhajan. Let it go, let it flow. Be yourself. That's what God loves. Satnam, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. Have an amazingly blessed day.